Yo, what is going on, everyone? How you doing today? Hope you're doing good. Got a special video for you today. Uh, this past weekend, I actually went to a local card show, and I picked up some pretty cool stuff. And yeah, I'm just going to show it off. Some uh, I also made a trade. Um, yeah, let's get right into it. Also have a bit of a mail day for you. And yeah, some cool stuff to show off. My main objective for this card show was to buy as the card market in general is down right now because sports like football, basketball, hockey, they're all in the off season. Uh, I don't know enough about basketball to actually go out and purchase. Uh, I only purchased hockey cards this time around. And the first thing I got is I got this Keanje Miller uh, Tribute Young Gun as, as well as this Adam Gaudet Future Watch Auto. Uh, I got these each... Well, I got them in total for 10 bucks. Uh, this one, as you see, was marked three. This one was marked 10. I asked the guy if he'd take 10. He said yes. Uh, so I basically got the Miller for free. That was just to complete my Tribute Young Gun set. So I'm very happy with that. And then I also got a Future Watch Auto, which I think is, it will be very movable when the season gets up and running. I think I could easily get 10 bucks back for this. Yeah, very happy with that. Yo, what's going on? Noah from the future here. Uh, I actually bought this card at the show before God had signed for the Leafs. At the time, he was still a UFA, and I just thought 10 bucks for a Future Watch Auto was pretty fair, especially if a guy like Godet who could turn it around. But yeah, now that he signed with the Leafs, could definitely see this selling for a decent price. Uh, the lowest one listed on eBay right now is listed at 30 and one just sold for about 15 plus shipping. So I actually picked up uh, these next cards right when I walked in. It was one of the first booths I saw, and this guy had really good prices on a bunch of young guns. Uh, the yellow was marked as $20, and I actually got these uh, for $30 in total. So I ended up paying $15 a card. I needed Lundell for the young gun set. Like, if you watched my last video, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna be opening up any Series 2 unless you guys request it anymore. I'm just gonna end up buying all the young guns I'm missing. And then Alex Debrinkit. I I'm pretty sure this is at $30 right now alone, if not more, since the trade Ottawa. And he had it marked at 20. I probably would have got it for 20 uh, if he said no to the, uh, the initial offer, but 15 bucks for this Debrinkit, an absolute steal right now. Very happy with this purchase. And then another thing he had at the booth was this Charlie McAvoy. Uh, he also had a mark to 20. I didn't buy it right away because he's around 25, 30 right now. But I went, I came back around a couple times. I ended up picking it up for 15 bucks. I think that's fair. He, he is injured, so it's a little more of a risky purchase and I'm not high on how Boston will do this season. But for 15 bucks, I don't think my risk is that high. Um, yeah, I think it's a, a decent purchase. $45 for these three cards, I will definitely take that. So this was my biggest purchase card-wise besides the sealed boxes. Uh, boom. <laughs> I got the Lucas Raymond Young Gun. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. The guy was asking 90 which was about the eBay comps. Uh, I offered 75 He said he'd take 80 I did 80 I think that's a fair price right now. He might drop to... He might drop a little lower before the season starts, but I think once the season gets going, he should be around at least eighty to a hundred dollars. Uh, this is more for my set because I I didn't need him eventually. Um, when the when the series two came out, he was selling around one hundred and fifty, the same as the cider. But yeah, they they've really dropped off. I'm very I think eighty dollars is a fair price for this, and I needed it anyway, so I think it's a solid pickup. So another young gun purchase here. This guy had uh, Alex Newhook and Dawson Mercer marked twenty dollars each at his booth. I offered him thirty for the two. Uh, he took it. So another another pair of young guns for fifteen dollars each. Uh, I think that's fair value. They could drop a little bit lower, um, maybe like ten. I don't see them going below ten bucks Canadian. Um, but two I needed for the set and two that I went out and got. So I'm I'm very happy with that. So this next card really caught my attention. Um, it was in a 50% off like table. Uh, it was this Ryan Paling, it's like a jumbo patch. It is a manufactured patch. Um, it's not a real patch, which is unfortunate. He had it marked at 50, uh, but it was in the 50% off case, so it was 25. I offered him 20, he took it. I just think it's really cool. Um, I do know, yeah, like I said, it's manufactured, but just look at that. It's, it's pretty beautiful. 20 bucks, just a PC thing. 
I could get 24 probably on eBay if I tried, but I don't think I'll move it anytime soon. And this is by far my favorite pickup of the show. Um, one of my favorite players. Uh, Sign of the Times, SP Authentic, Yesperi Kakinami. Sign of the Times Draft, that is. I Wow, what a beautiful card that is. I love Kakinami. Even though he, he left for the offer sheet, who wouldn't have taken that money, though? He's an absolute beauty. And he had it marked at 50. I offered him 40. He took it. I think that's fair price for this could go down to like 30 as sp authentic ju did just come out this card's an update from 1920 but what a beautiful signature what a beautiful card very happy with this uh strictly a pc thing probably won't get rid of this anytime soon uh don't be surprised if you see it in the background maybe replace lekin in there or maybe my galgar canvas uh yeah really like this card and I did make one trade at the show. Uh, <laughs> I think I did well on the trade. I've been trying to move my rookie class Alex Ovechkin PSA 9 for quite a while now. I'll throw a picture up on the screen now. And I was able to trade that for this. An S. GC 9.5 Cole Caulfield Young Gun. Uh, yeah, I think I think it's a fair trade. The Ovechkin's been selling for around 150 Canadian. This has been selling for around 200 to 250 Canadian. So right now, I believe I have the upper hand. But obviously, Alex Ovechkin is by far the better player than Cole Caulfield. Um, but I think this cards way more like liquid than the Ovechkin I was having like I said I was having trouble moving the Ovechkin I think I could move this card way way more easy um, I do have a Caulfield at PSA right now so the rookie class Ovechkin I did trade uh, was part of a set so they were pretty common cards back in the day um, so yeah I, it wasn't like a very rare Ovechkin card I traded so I think that's that's fair. I do have an, an Ovechkin Young Gun at PSA right now. So I'm, I still have an Ovechkin, so that's why I was like, uh, I, ju I kind of <laughs> justified in my head going after my boy, <laughs> Cole Caulfield. And the guy actually offered it to me, and I was like, yeah, I, 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 couldn't, I couldn't refuse it after trying to move that card for so long. Last thing for today's video, we have a little bit of a mail day reveal. Uh, I picked up this card on eBay. If you guys didn't know, recently, uh, with Canadian eBay, they weren't uh, forcing sellers to charge tax until July 1st. So on June 30th, I picked up a couple investment cards that are down right now, uh, hoping they go back up bef before or during the season. And I, th I think I got, I'm not, I'm not sure which card this is, but I definitely got some good deals on whatever this so card Open is. up the tops. Now it's time to dramatically <laughs> reveal which card I purchased. I'll see which one it is here. Is it the front of it? Oh, it is, okay. Here, let me get it better. All right, there, that's a little bit better. So card number 217, upper deck 2016, and there it is, Travis Konechny, PSA 10, Young Guns. I picked this card up for 70 Canadian plus shipping. Uh, I think that's a very solid buy. His card is super down right now for obvious reasons. Um, he had a, a bad year last year. Everyone on the Flyers did. I think there's a lot of potential for this card to go up if the Flyers can bounce back. Um, I'm very happy with this purchase. There is no sleeve on it, which is weird. I'll put my own sleeve on it, I guess. Um, yeah, very happy with that. PSA 10 card for $70 of a, a young gun of a top six forward. Uh, def and he showed potential to have... Uh, He's had flashes of good offense. Uh, yeah, I like Konechny, and I think this is a smart purchase. And yeah, hopefully this card can go up and I can make some money on it. There we go. I just threw a sleeve on there. It is a Beckett sleeve, so it is a little bigger, as you can tell. Um, I'll have to get some PSA sleeves for this so it fits tight, like like my Sam Darnold back there. <laughs> um, yeah, overall, I think the card show went really well. Uh, the Prism was a big win. The... 
cart. The solos I picked up were definitely decent, and I think this was a solid uh, eBay purchase as well. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you like, subscribe. Uh, if you want to stick around and watch some of my more content, that would be greatly appreciated. Uh, comment down below uh, what you'd like to see next. And, yeah, I hope you guys uh, take care and have a good day.